Go. Hello, I'm Wesley Stace, and I'm reading the opening of Chapter 3, Proteus. Ineluctable modality of the visible, at least that, if no more, thought through my eyes. Signatures of all things I am here to read, sea spawn and sea rack, the nearing tide, that rusty boot, snot green, blue silver, rust, coloured signs, limits of the diaphan. But, he adds, in bodies. Then he was aware of them bodies before of them coloured. How? By knocking his sconce against them. Sure, go easy. Bald he was and a millionaire, maestro di color Chisano. Limit of the diaphan in. Why in? Diaphan. A diaphan. If you can put your five fingers through it, it is a gate, if not a door. Shut your eyes and see. Stephen closed his eyes to hear his boots crush crackling rack and shells. You are walking through it howsomever. I am. A stride at a time. A very short space of time between very short times of space. Five, six, the Nakainanda. Exactly. And that is the ineluctable modality of the audible. Open your eyes. No, Jesus. If I fell over a cliff, the beetles over his base fell through the Nebainanyanda ineluctably. I am getting on nicely in the dark. My ash sword hangs at my side. Tap with it. They do. My two feet in his boots are at the ends of his legs. Nebainanyanda. Sounds solid, made by the mallet of Los Demiurgos. Am I walking into eternity along Sandy Mount Strand? Crush, crack, crick, crick. Wild sea money, Domini Deasy kens them all. Won't you come to Sandy Mount, Madeline the mare? Rhythm begins, you see, I hear. A cataleptic tetrameter of I am's marching. No, a gallop, Deline the mare. Open your eyes now. I will. One moment. Has all vanished since? If I open and am forever in the black, a diaphan. Basta! I will see, if I can see. See now, there all the time without you and ever shall be world without end. They came down the steps from Leahy's Terrace prudently, Frauenzimmer, and down the shelving shore flabbily, their splayed feet sinking in the silted sand. Like me, like algae coming down to our mighty mother, Number one swung lordily her midwife's bag, the others gamp poked in the beach. From the liberties, out for the day, Mrs Florence McCabe, relict of the late Patrick McCabe, deeply lamented of Bride Street. One of her sisterhood lugged me squealing into life, creation from nothing. What has she in the bag? A misbirth with a travelling navel cord hushed in ruddy wool. The cords of all link back, strand entwining cable of all flesh. That is why mystic monks. Will you be as gods? Gaze in your omphalos. Hello, Kinch here. Put me on to Edenville. Aleph, Alpha, Nought, Nought, One. Spouse and helpmate of Adam Cadmon, Haver, Naked Eve. She had no navel. Gaze, belly without blemish, bulging, big, a buckler of taut vellum, no, white heaped corn, orient and immortal, standing from everlasting to everlasting, womb of sin. Wombed in sin darkness I was too, made, not begotten, by them, the man with my voice and my eyes and a ghost woman with ashes on her breath. They clasped and sundered, did the coupler's will. From before the ages he willed me, and now may not will me away, or ever a Lex Eterna stays about him. Is that then the divine substance, wherein father and son are consubstantial? Where is poor dear Arius to try conclusions, warring his life long upon the contransmaphican dubantantiality, ill-starred heresiarch? In a Greek water closet, he breathed his last. Euthanasia. 
with beaded mitre and with crozier, stalled upon his throne, widower of a widowed sea, with upstiffed omophorion, with clotted hinder parts. Airs romped around him, nipping and eager airs, they are coming, waves. The white-maned seahorses, champing, bright wind bridled, the steeds of Mananan. I'd just like to have one more go at contransmaphic, no, I'll do it once more, <laughs> contransmagnificandubantantiality. Happy birthday, happy bloomsday from the Rosenbach Museum. <laughs>